Welcome to Monday Motivation. This is your host, Prophetess Kimberly Moses, and I'm going to take you guys on a fantastic journey this week. Every week, I'm going to encourage you and give you the word of the Lord to get you through your week. So get ready to be empowered and get strengthened in your faith. So today we're going to talk about being faithful to the task. And I know many of you guys want to quit. You want to throw in a towel. You want to walk away. You're saying God is too much. God, I can't take anything else. But I want to encourage you with 11 things we can do when our faith is being tested and tried and you just want to quit and just walk away from everything and go back into a cave. Let's look at Proverbs 28 and 30. And it says a faithful man will abound with blessings. Think about that. Because you're being faithful, God will bless you beyond anything you could think or imagine. So a faithful man will abound with blessings. And the word abound means to exist in great quantity or numbers to be rich or well supplied. Think about that as you're faithful. You will abound with so many blessings. So think about that and get that word in your heart. Now I want to give you guys how you can be faithful. Number one, be faithful with your time. You make time for whatever, whoever is important in your life. And you got to make that time with God. And as you take the time to spend with our Heavenly Father and spend time with God, you are going to be faithful when things get tough. And you go through warfare and you want to quit. You're taking that time just to be faithful. And you're showing God that he's numero uno in your life. Number two, be faithful with talents that God has given you. There's so many people who right now, they're using what God has given them and serving the devil with those talents. Don't let that be your story. Don't let that be your testimony Be faithful over the talents that God has given you and use those talents, whether you can sing, write, whatever you're called to do. Use those talents to glorify God. Be faithful in it. Even if it's not popular, just stay faithful. Number three, be faithful in the treasures that God has given you, the resources. It is good that a man be found faithful People may not be calling you. People may not be seeking after you. You may not be popular or in the in crowd, but be faithful in the small things and God will make you ruler over much and guard that anointing that God has placed over your life. Don't treat God's anointing as common. You don't want to be like Saul and lose the anointing. Number four. Stay faithful to the word. Stay faithful reading the Bible. In this hour that we live in, we have so much happening. So much is going on. You have to stay faithful in the word because the word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. So stay faithful reading the word. Just read something every day. You don't have to, you know, read five or six chapters of the word every day. Just Read a few verses. If you can't read a chapter every day in the Bible, just read something. All right. Number five, be consistent in prayer. Prayer is a weapon. The fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous avail it much. Prayer is a weapon. So you have to just stay faithful in prayer and prayer will keep you seriously. You need to pray. So when things get tough, go to your prayer closet and pray about it. All right, number six, you got to surround yourself. You want to be faithful to the task, surround yourself with like-minded people. Don't surround yourself with messy people. Surround yourself with godly people that really have the heart of the Father, that really love you, uh, and and they they are about the Father's business. Literally, if you want to last in this walk, you need to surround yourself with people that will pray for you, push you spiritually, speak life into you. In Jesus name. Number seven, how to stay faithful on this walk and stay faithful to this task. You cannot waver in your faith. Number seven, don't waver in your in your faith in God. I know so much has happened to make you want to just waver, but don't take the bait because God is faithful and 
we don't have time to be double minded because if you're double minded, you're going to be without. Number eight, come out from out the world. Separate yourself from the world. Don't let carnality get inside of you because the world's ways aren't God's ways. A carnal mind is hostile towards God. A carnal mind is flesh and the flesh does what's contrary to the, to the spirit. And they're two opposing forces. So the world will say, this is right, but God's word says, says it's wrong. So separate yourself. Come out from among the, the world. Separate yourself from that. If you want to stay faithful to the task, right? All right. Number nine. Do what's right all the time, even if it's not popular, even if it's not uh, going to you know, get you a lot of invites. It's going to upset some people that may offend some people. Do what's right. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. And it may come with some persecution, but it's okay. Remember, you have a friend named Jesus who, who will definitely get you through this. All right, number 10. Obey God at all things, at all costs. If you love God, you are going to obey his words. All right. So you're going to just do what he says. And remember, sin equals death and disobedience is a sin. So you don't have time to open up the portal to the enemy who's going to cause chaos and confusion and heart, hurt and pain in your life. You don't have time for that. So obey God at all things if you want to be faithful to this task. Number 11, you have to love, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself, literally. Because if you really love God, you want to please God and you're going to love his people when they get on your last nerves. And when the enemy uses people, just show the love of the father and God will make it all worth it. All the pain, the suffering, the heartache when you wanted to throw in a towel. So remember, stay faithful to the task. Stay faithful. Proverbs 28 and 20, a faithful man will abound in blessings even when nobody knows who you are, when they look at you and they feel like you don't matter, you're insignificant, you are small, you're not anointed. Those are all lies from hell, all lies from the devil. Be faithful. God knows who you are. God loves you. God accepted you. God is for you. So think about that. You stay faithful. Whether you, you got a crowd following you or not, whether people are liking you, supporting you or not, whether you go into persecution or not, you stay faithful and you will abound with blessings. So I pray this week will be an awesome week for you. I pray that you will stay faithful and you will apply these 11, 11 tips to your life and that you will go far and you will do great exploits for the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you guys. And if you want to be a blessing to uh, the ministry, you can go to my cash app, which is dollar sign profit Kimberly Moses. And I'll see you guys on the next Monday Motivation.